Measuring instruments are packed into this part of the mountain. They're even in old tunnels that are hardly accessible. Scientists from Bonn are trying to find out how fast the permafrost in the rocks of the Zugspitze is vanishing. Behind me is the north face of the Zugspitze, and where we are is one of the last areas of permafrost on the mountain. The very steep north-facing wall behind us can give off lots of heat in winter, which is why this might be one of the few permafrost regions left on the Zugspitze. The passageway leads to the outside at an altitude of 2,900 meters. The team of researchers hopes to get to the summit from here. They want to place their sensors there, too, to measure the melting of the Zugspitze. You need to be in good shape for this kind of work, and ready to improvise if necessary. Like here, where the climbers find it hard to place their hooks. The ice in the bedrock is melting, and the rocks are beginning to crumble. That makes it harder for the teams to work here. Because we have this permafrost, which is acting on the rock throughout the summer and winter, constantly freezing and thawing, we end up with this extreme degradation and rock falls like the one that just came down here. This is a technical problem for us. How can we find firm ground to secure ourselves? But after many attempts, it finally works. Not far from the peak station, the scientists find some firm rock to attach their equipment. Storage batteries, cable drums and temperature sensors are joined by radio transmitters that send the data to the laboratory every day. One of the main questions occupying the team at the moment is why are there so many rock slides in the early summer even though the highest temperatures are reached in August? An analysis of early data shows that the mountain has really been warming up deep into the rock. That process, however, is happening in an unexpected way. By July it's thawed down to 10 meters. Then in the other months, when we'd expect more thawing, practically nothing more happens. We find that surprising, because it contradicts our understanding of the thawing process. But it explains the finding that heavy rockfall occurs as early as June and July. With all the rock slides and permafrost activity, Germany's highest mountain could find itself a few meters shorter in the coming years.